This video comes in two parts. The first part will be the English part and wait to stay to the second part para naman sa mga Tagalog dyan na gusto nila ng Tagalog na tutorial. Pero uh, it's a bit uh, not fluent. Okay, let's start. Anyhaseyo, Yorobun. Today I want to show you the simple plugin or extension I got from Curic. It sends our model view into layout. So how this works is that we draw a rectangle over the thing we want to see in layout and we name them. So this specific rectangle creates a new scene in our model with the same name we have placed. Now the magic happens when you check your folder. There are separate layout files generated from those rectangles. You can see here around five different layout files with all of those rectangles we have drawn. It's very fast, right? Because we do not have to click on send to layout or we do not have to open layout first and import the SketchUp model. The next thing we do here is change the drawing title into the code page name so that the name of the page that we have typed a while ago will automatically be the drawing title. Right afterwards, we can choose to remove the rectangle. It's basically a clipping mask using our volume one and two technique. Remove it through the shape style, put dimensions and export as PDF. Because these are individual layout files, the workflow becomes a lot faster, the files become a lot lighter because you are working one scene at a time. This makes it very nice for fast revisions per area. Let's say the kitchen will have a different layout file, the eating area will have a different layout file, the whole floor plan will have a different layout file, and it is very fast and organized to generate reports during the process of the design where things are not yet final and you just want to send this as PDF or JPEG to your client. Continuing with volume one and through after labeling everything and sending them to PDF we can see that they are also individual files. There's a second method though that is not shown here where they all are compiled in one layout file as different pages. You can check that out when you do the plugin. However, any changes you make in the model should not be a problem as well as long as the model is linked to that layout file. It will automatically update the scene and we can proceed to our rendering. If you have purchased volumes 1 to 3, you will be added to the Facebook group or you can check our YouTube playlist number 5 to see Enscape and Picasa. Since these are pictures, I do not have to send them to layout. I can just open them and place labels on the spot. This makes our workflow a lot lot faster as well when it comes to photos or renders. By labeling them putting your watermark and exporting them, just upload them in Google Drive, send them over to the client, and then we are done for our scheme. Thank you for watching our two simple tips to make your workflow faster. If you wish to avail our files and tutorial, just click the link down below and I'll see you next time. Anyasaya, Yarabun. Okay, okay, okay. Tagalog version naman po tayo dito. Etong plugin na to ay nakakuha. Na, nakuha? Na. Oh my goodness. Ay nakuha ko sa my VBO website o kaya sa KCDA. Ang gamit po nito ay pwede nyong i-zoom in ang iyong drawing o model tapos lagyan nyo ng rectangle. 
Ang rectangle na ito ay magiging viewport nyo sa layout. So, hindi nyo na kailangan buksan ng layout upang i-import pa yung model. O hindi nyo kailangan i-click yung model tapos send to layout. Automatic na po yan. May mga layout files na po tayo. Tig isa sila per scene. Uh, bawat rectangle na, na drawing nyo, yun na rin yung viewport nyo. So, bali ang ginawa niya ay naging scene siya tapos ginawa niya ang clipping mask. Kaya ang pwede nyo gawin, click nyo lang yung drawing, lagyan nyo ng title, yung drawing title na ito, palitan nyo ng code na uh, open parenthesis, capital P and N, page name, close parenthesis. Eh, hindi pala parenthesis yon Yung parang greater than, letter, lesser than sign. Bakit ginagawa yan? Para yung Pangalan mismo na ng pahina ay magiging pangalan na rin ng drawing. Yun lang yung tip ko. Pero kung ayaw nyo gawin, okay lang. Tapos, kung gusto nyo tanggalin yung box na iyon, uh, sundan nyo lang yung lessons sa volume 1 and 2. Natanggalin nyo gamit ang shape style. Pagkatapos nito, pwede nyo nilang i-export bilang PDF. Print nyo na, screenshot nyo, upload nyo sa Google Drive o email nyo sa kliyente. Ang pamamaraan na ito ay maganda para sa mga nagbabala, para sa mga revision. Yung hindi pa final o hindi pa pinale. Ano bang pinale? Hindi pa tapos yung design. Okay, yun lang po ngayon. Bye-bye!